The equation of a circle is x squared plus 8x plus y squared minus 12y equal to 144. What are the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius of the circle? All right. So what we have here is an equation written uh, out. And what we need to do is we need to rearrange some things here to be able to identify uh, where the center is and what the length of the radius is. So the, to approach this, what we got to do is separate out the x's and y's, which they already are sort of, but I noticed that I left out a little space. And the reason for that is I'm going to try to figure out what I need to add here um, to complete the square. The goal is to get the left-hand side looking like this, where h and k is the center of the circle and r here is the radius. So our goal is to turn the given, inf uh, the given equation into something that looks like that. So how are we going to do this? Well, if you recall the skills to complete the square, we take the middle coefficient there um, of the terms uh, of these two guys, right? And when I say the middle coefficient, I mean this number right there. So what we do with that number is we're going to half it and then we're going to square it. And if that sounds really foreign to you, I encourage you to look at my, um, my lessons on completing the square, which is in unit six. And what we do there is we take that number, half it and square it. So eight divided by two is four. Four squared is 16. We take this middle number here, 12 divided by 2, and that would be 6, squared is 36. Now what we add on one side of the equation, we have to add on the other. So we're going to be adding 16 and 36, thereby not changing the original equation at all. So if you look at the left hand side right now, x squared plus 8x plus 16, that is a perfect square, and that factors into x plus 4 squared plus y minus 6 squared equal uh, 144 plus 16 plus 36. What will that turn into? That will turn into 100 and it will turn into 180. No, it'll turn into 196. And 196, as it turns out, is 14 squared. So uh, what is the what is the center and radius of the circle then? Just looking at this, we can identify the center to be negative four and six, and the radius to be 14. And which option does that fit? That would be option number four.